and today I'm doing the end of the year BJD tag for 2023. So I haven't done one of these in a while. I think the last one was like 2021 so my collection has changed a bit since then and I have lots of plans for my collection for 2024. But I'm going to do this tag that was created by Bumblebee Love 100 on YouTube and I'll post the questions down below if you would like to participate. So for the first question, it says, show us your doll family as it looks at the end of the year. So this is my current collection. I'm going to go over them each one by one. So I'll start off with my blank head here that I'm still hunting for a body. This is my little Rebel Kamu head. I have a Mary doll round Zuri. So she's one of my new girls and she's the full Mary doll round. So body and head. This is my Anais Alara head. She's on a Supia doll body, so it's a small private artist. I have my little rebel Noelle head, and she's also on a Supia doll body that I dyed to match. This boy is my little rebel Ethan, and he is on a Peakswood doll body that I also dyed to match. <laughs> This is my Mary doll round Olay. So she's a full doll, so she's a regular company. She's a private uh, artist, uh, my golden era Clara head. And she is on a Soom doll body. So the head was actually um, blushed to match the body this time. This is my Amadiz Orlando girl. She's a custom resin color. I have a Meek doll cane, and he is on a doll factory body that I dyed to match his head. This is the first generation Gloomy doll heiress. I know the artist just recently released a new version, so I have one of the originals. This is my resin soul, Sin. Starting with my second row. This is my oldest in the collection, my probably my most favorite doll, my Loon doll Scythe, and he is on a spirit doll body. This is my Meek doll Feral, and he is on a doll she body. This beautiful boy is a Universe Feng Niao, and he is on my Ama Diz boy body. This beautiful girl is a Sabina doll, Naomi, and she is on a doll's town body. Her head was dyed and blushed to match the body. This is my loom doll, Dirt, and he's modified, so he doesn't normally have one eye closed for the regular sculpt, but it gives him a lot of character. He is on a doll's town body. This is my Meek doll, Lucian, and he right now is on a doll family H body. This is one of my new elf boys. He has an XXDXS um, Ling Mi. He's a private artist, and he is on my Demiurge body. And another small artist. This is my Hublod's Jorhal head. And he is on a doll long, uh, dyed long soul body. I have a loom doll Bellatrix head, and she is on a Kroby doll girl body. And last, we have my Evie Sanctum Nandi head, and she is on a Mascat doll body. So, this is my full collection as of end of. 2023. It's a lot of dolls and then I have some that I've been sewing so I did not include them in the video since they were not a part of the collection anymore. Question number two. How many doll videos did you make this year? So I uploaded six videos for 2023 which is around a, the same amount I did for last year which was why I didn't quite um, post my end of the year BJD tag. I didn't feel very active in 2022. 
um, 2024 is definitely going to be more active on YouTube and Instagram. So number three, what was your first video of 2023 about? So that video was um, me showing off the face-ups for my oldest boy, Newt, here, and my universe doll, Feng Yao. So both of them I sent away for face-ups. And I was worried, especially for Newt, because he's my favorite and the oldest, and I, was a, I didn't want his new face-up to kind of diminish my affection for him, since the face-up that he came with um, when I bought him secondhand was something I loved uh, a lot about his sculpt because um, it kind of gave him a smile when his normal sculpt doesn't but I'm happy that the new face up actually helped with um, his appearance. <laughs> Number four, how many pictures on any site or medium did you take or upload this year? So I only got to take about 18 pictures and some sales posts that I made on my Instagram I definitely hope that the weather is going to be better for 2024 so I can get more outdoor pictures and have more time to do so. Number five says, show us the first picture you took of the year. So for 2023, that picture was uh, the face up that I got for my universe doll, Young Yao. And it's really stunning. It's by Como Raby Dolls. <laughs> and I just, I love how he looks so elegant and handsome in it. <laughs> Question number six, tell us the best thing that happened to you in the doll hobby this year. So for 2023, I got my Amadis Orlando girl. So I've always been looking for a tan SD girl um, who was an elf because it's so hard to find elf sculpts that I like that are female. And so when I saw that Amadiz was doing custom resin colors, I, I begged them to make this custom one for me uh, so that I could finally have the girl on my wish list. Number seven, tell us the worst thing that happened to you in the doll hobby this year. Um, not anything particularly bad, just that I wish had changed um, or went better. Uh, that would just be being active in the hobby. Um, so having a new job and just uh, moving again and setting back up. My dolls were away and um, packed up in storage as I was getting everything ready and transitioning. So I wasn't as active taking pictures or doing videos and I'm really sad that it feels like a whole year went by really quickly and I didn't get to do as much with them as I wanted to for my resolution for 2023. So now that I am settled, I feel like I can finally accomplish that goal. Number eight is show us the favorite, three favorite things you got this year. Um, <laughs> because I wasn't an active, I also didn't buy a lot of stuff. Um, yeah, I only have like a few new dolls and I feel like that probably doesn't count for your three things that you got, but I mean, it's gonna have to for some of it. So I think uh, definitely one of my favorite things is my wig that I got um, from Sophie Molly that I put on my Naomi sculpt. Uh, it's so beautiful. I've admired so many wigs made by this artist. Um, and I finally uh, commissioned them to make a custom wig for me and it came in for 2023. The uh, second thing I definitely think would be my XXDX uh, Ling Ming head. He's super cute and grumpy and I've admired this private artist for a long time on Instagram. They release only like a few sculpts like every few years and finally I um, saw a pre-order in time when I actually had the money to get one so I was so happy that I was able to get the head. And then the third thing would probably be more face-ups because I, I, I like being able to see new pretty faces on my dolls. Because um, yeah, the Amadez girl did get a face-up done um, for 2023. And then uh, of course my Newt and my Universe doll. Uh, so <laughs> those were my three favorite things that I, have, I got. Um, number nine is what is your new year's resolution um definitely to be more active i i really want to make more clothing seems to be my goal every year but i <laughs> every time 
if something else changes and it just becomes more difficult to do but I think tying into that my resolution would probably be narrowing down my collection to the essentials those that those that I really want to pay attention to and that might help me to actually fulfill the other part of my resolution so I could buy more clothes more shoes and wigs and um like doing a setup backdrops and stuff for them if I just had uh, more space for, for them if so I feel like fewer dolls would probably help with that as heartbreaking as it would be to get rid of any of my skulls so it's just trying to decide who is going to be the model for this resolution um because there's so many of them that I like but then there's some old ones that I haven't done much with and they haven't really changed at all since I got them um, so that's probably just their character ready to move on from out of my collection so that someone else can love them. So it's going to be an interesting year for 2024, but I'm looking forward to it. And I hope you guys look forward to watching how it changes as well. So thank you all for watching and I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.